Hello, I'm Tom Malone. I'm an economist in the office of the Chief Economist at CoreLogic, and I'm here today to talk about house flipping activity in the real estate market over the past year. 2020 altered and realigned the real estate market in many ways, but aside from a brief blip, things have remained business as usual for house flippers. The share of purchases that can be classified as flips took a slight drop in the first and second quarter of 2020, but has since returned to its regular market share. In March 2021, the flipping rate was 2.8%, the same as it was one year ago. So despite record home price appreciation, flippers do not appear to be trying to cash in on the boom. While the national flipping rate has remained the same, the flipping market has seen a slight redistribution geographically over the past year. Flipping activity has declined on the coastlines, with big, expensive cities like Seattle, New York, Boston, and San Francisco, all amongst the least active markets for flipping. Conversely, flipping has been on the rise in the Mountain West and South, with markets like Phoenix, Memphis, Salt Lake City, and Boise all ranking amongst the top in the country. Ultimately, the fundamentals driving flipping activity are the same ones that drive all real estate investment. Strong economic growth, low prices, and fewer regulations. Flipping is high where investment is high generally suggesting that both flippers and longer-term investors are responding to the same signals. It should be no surprise that the flipping rate grew the most in Boise and Salt Lake City. These two areas had some of the strongest employment growth coming out of the pandemic. Given that there has been record home price appreciation, it might seem surprising that more home flips are not occurring. But there are good reasons that the rate remains the same. On average, in March 2021, the returns a flipper made were 3.7% lower than the returns on an S&P 500 index fund. With the return on flips being lower than other, considerably easier investments to make, there is little reason for new flippers to enter the market. So although there has been some change in where flips take place, nationally the rate remains the same. As overall, it is not a more attractive investment than it has been in the past. Thanks for watching today. For more insights on recent trends in the housing and mortgage markets, please visit corelogic.com intelligence.